So yeah, breaking yeah. news. Um, Olase uh, has chosen to join Bayern Munich. Bayern now expect to agree a uh, deal with Palace for the winger, whose uh, contract includes a release clause. It's coming from David Ornstein. Um, if I'm being 110%, I don't believe it until Paletico says, but let's just take it with a pinch of salt that it has happened. Uh, I'm going to get everyone's reaction in here. We have, we've got Taylor in here. We're currently watching the Netherlands-France game. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to say. Um, this video will come out um, when this stream is done. I'm literally going to clip it as soon as I've done it. But um, we've got a United fan in here. United are massively in for him. Bayern are massively in for him. So yeah, we're going to get um, other people's opinions on it. But Let's go um, over here a minute. What are we saying about this news? What are we thinking? I'm very interested in it because um, more of the how much is it true because yeah. his link to Chelsea was far bigger than Man United and, and Bayern yeah. Munich, even though that before Munich were even in for him, he were, he was adamant for United. And United were adamant for him. But the links from Chelsea were far greater because Chelsea behind the scenes were doing a lot more than the likes of Man United and Bayern Munich were doing. So for Chelsea to completely be out when they need a right winger, like they, they need someone of his quality on that side, is a bit weird. Because it's like, who are the, is if they see an alternative or... And they're going, oh, you know what? Because this release clause is around like 60 million, I think. And they've just gone, mm, no, even though they can't afford it. The only the only one reason I can see them pulling out is because of them having to sell players. Because they've got they've still got that issue with FFP. Yeah. And maybe they've analyzed it and gone, we're not good. I don't think we'll get them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe because of Bayern Munich's larger interests like growing into trying to get him. Yeah. I, I, just, see, yeah. I just don't I don't know, man. Like he's a good it's a, it's a, it's a risk. Like, it's it's always a risk. Caliber. Like what is this release clause as well? We can go and get uh Chiesa for thirty to forty million. Mm. I I don't know, man. I, 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 the, the only the only problem I see in your perspective is that obviously someone will go, and I think he'll be Nabry. I think he'll be the one that's sold. I don't see Sane going because of company. I think company ke keeps him to try and bring the best out of him, which also means why would you get Elise if you're going to stick with Sane? Because Elise is not going to want to be. He, he's not going to be want to, want to be second man. So like, if there's some sort of like if we're talking that your kind of your push for Simmons goes away, so you have Musiala in the middle, and then Sane left, Elise right. That's what I can the most ex, like best way of like putting it really. Like how it's going to happen, because I don't think any of anything else makes sense. Like putting sixty million to a player like him when you're not going to play him is, is stupid. And I also Obviously, like I, <sighs> I, I'm not I'm not sold on him. I'm really not. Like I would, in my personal opinion, and if you guys think I'm crazy, put it in the comments. Put it in the live chat as we're recording this live. But like in my personal opinion. I generally think like that he's a good player, but is he to the calibre that we number one need? And he what what has he done for Palace? I don't see him doing anything. You know, Christopher Forich has done it in our league, number one. He's got he was main main one of the main reasons that they got second. Obviously, Bayern should have had that second place all wrapped up. But because we're so rubbish that we didn't, and then obviously they went over, which obviously I said in January. But I just don't know if he's that player that we we need. Um, I don't know, Ahmad. What do you think, bro? What What do you think about uh, Olase uh, and um, this whole this whole link? 
I, I don't really understand mm. it. So I think another like thing to put on it is that obviously I can kind of like help your um your team's argument for getting him because I've seen more of him compared to um, compared to you lot. Um I know he's got a hell of a free kick on him. Um he's a he's a young player. I think he could develop very well into a company system if he carries on with the attacking football. Yeah. He's a, a like a true winger as well, not not these cut in shoot sort of players. Like his um his ability on the ball is like is top tier and his like diverse of way of being on a winger is a lot more than the likes of Nabri Sane. I wouldn't say Coman. He's probably kind of a similar type as Coman. Yeah. Which, I think for the right-hand side, is something you desperately need. Because I know Coman plays more on the left, but his injury is um, is still a big problem. Yeah. I but I, I, I wouldn't... If I, if I was a Bayern fan, I think I would be happy with it. Okay. Personally. Yeah. Um, obviously, like you said... Um, about get uh, pay you could get cheap uh, for a lot cheaper, well half the price. Uh, getting second in the Bundesliga, doing it in the German league, so kind of it's bred bred in them to play how you do in Germany. Obviously, Elise will have to get used to that, but I think he can. I think he can get his head into gear pretty quick if he gets the game time. That's the only, yeah, yeah. like I said. Uh, the alternatives of what's going to happen is um is a bit is a bit weird. Yeah, and literally, there's just been some news um coming out now again as we are live, basically just saying that apparently uh, it wasn't to do with Chelsea or anything like that. Apparently, he is set to join Bayern Munich after choosing the German side ahead of Chelsea. Now, I don't know if we believe this. Let me know what you think. Um, Ahmad, give me a thumbs up, bro, if you're ready to talk. Um, yeah, I am, I am, I am, I just said, yeah. What, what are you thinking, bro? You know what I'm thinking, bro? I will be real. I would take him, but I did not expect it to happen. Anything else? Um, curious to see who we sell. <laughs> not to make that comment, did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm uh, very... Wait, who made the comment? Wait, who made the comment? Wait, what? Oh, no, you talking no, about me? No, Liam. What, what, what comment did Liam make? He didn't make it. No, no, no. Oh. Let's, just, let's, let's keep on. Keep on anyway, talking. as I was saying, can you see who we sell? Is it going to be Sane, Coleman, Gnabry? But most likely it's going to be Gnabry, let's be honest. And um, all these can play attacking mid. He can play on the wing. So it, Musiala and uh, Lise can be chosen to go either side. And by the way, is all these more on the left or more on the right? He's a right winger. He's a right winger. So... This oh, is, but then it's Leroy Sane. That's only this is this is this is my thing. Like it was that it was the same where I like obviously we're talking about Olise. We're not talking about Nico Williams, but I seen loads of Arsenal fans talking absolute smoke yesterday. But after the Spain Spain game, saying, Oh, let's get this guy to to be the number two under Saka. It's like, bro, these players aren't gonna come into the club, and that's where Taylor's obviously made a great point. Like these players aren't gonna come to your club if they're not gonna play. These young players, there's a reason, reason Jude Bellingham didn't go to United because he didn't get the minutes that he wanted. He goes to Dortmund, and then obviously the rest is history. But you know what I mean? Like They they literally yeah. threw the kitchen sink at getting Jude Bellingham. They literally had all of the legends there, Sir Alex, everything, and they still picked a different club. So I, I just don't understand why... I just don't get it, personally. You know but, what, Liam, yeah. I'll cut the answer with you, bro. I get where you're coming from, brother. But if I were you, yeah, we should be thankful he chose us. Because to be honest, guys like me, guys like all the fans from the Premier League, which they have every right to be, to be fair to them, thought that they'd be either joining Chelsea or Man United. Am I correct, Taylor? Yeah, well, like I said, with the high investment from Chelsea, it looked like that was the more of what was going to happen. But like this whole who he, he wants to join, I think that's the only like, like source of information I think that's wrong because I, I to be honest, I don't know who because I heard a lot 
before when United were first into him, not even Chelsea and Bayern Munich. It was like he wanted United. Chelsea come in, he wanted Chelsea. Bayern come in, he wants Bayern. Like that source of information, I think that's that's the bit I'm not certain on on what on yeah. what who he wants. Yeah, and and I, I hear agree, you, but I agree it's with the Peyton. guy reporting it that's moving me, bro. It's is, the guy is that's he gonna, is he gonna start? Like, will he start? Hmm. That's but, but that's the problem. The pro- that's my concern. The only concern I have, which is why I predicted, to be honest, that he'd want to go Man United, because I felt like you can replace Anthony. He can replace Anthony. Sancho's not gonna play under Ten Hag. Perfect. Chelsea, Cole Palmer's there. Is he gonna replace him there? No. You know what I mean? So. Unless if Palmer went attacking midfield, or always they don't attacking midfield. Cool. But then again, the best option, if Man United are rebuilding, I mean, which with Ten Hag, I'm not sure. But listen, Man United was the best option. There's also Newcastle. Newcastle's a shout. But again, are Newcastle going to focus elsewhere? They've See, got so. FFP problems. So I don't think they'll do that. And again, yeah, problem more, because they're this, being tracked like yeah r- prisoners. But I mean, it's literally. Well, it's more not just them. Chelsea as well. They've they've got FFP problems. Chelsea spend far too much. Uh, um, Newcastle more because they're a small club. I think it's to be honest, more, if it's not Bayern, it's Man United. If not, it's not yeah. Bayern. Then somehow it's they're going to be Man United. I think there's more coming out literally as we speak. Um, I have no clue who this lad is, but. He's followed by Fabrizio and David Ornstein. Um, and it's basically coming from the BBC, if we believe them, whatever. Uh, Bayern are set to sign him uh, after Crystal Palace uh, winger decided to join them. So everyone's saying the same thing. So as a Bayern fan, you've got to be happy. I just don't know. Just for me, I know I'm, I know that, you know, maybe in a year, year or so, we might be looking back if we go and sign him. Obviously, he needs to sign the contract, do the medical, all that bullshit. But like, if we go and sign him, I might be looking back saying I was an idiot. But at the same time, for me right now, just in my head, I want to get Froerich and I want to get Xavi Simmons. I just don't know if we should spend this particular amount of money on him personally. But how much is the money? It's 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 a big like big release clause. If it is the release clause, I think it's I want to say it's sixty five m's. Um, I could be a hundred percent wrong. Oh, but yeah. I think it's around that region. Yeah, so, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, and um, yeah, until then, Mia Samia.